How's it going everyone? It's your boy Leonidas. I'm here to do a review on a new device I picked up. Just received in the mail a couple days ago. It's the AAXA Technologies P5 Projector. I, re I purchased it right off AAXA's website. It's a DLP Texas Instrument Projector. It's got a DC port, an HDMI port, VGA port with a connector that goes straight to the VGA an audio video connector that goes into that port there and goes to your three connectors for your audio video being your yellow red and white and then you got right there next to your audio video and in beside your USB that would be your headphone jack or your audio out and then you got a USB port you can play movies from your USB but I'm using it to power up my Chromecast as you can see. And then I have my micro SD card. There's a micro SD card slot right there. That's your on and off switch. Turns on in a matter of seconds. Then you got your uh, sleep button or power switch right there in the very center. You take a look on the bottom. On the bottom left, you got your menu button. Bottom right, you got your back button. And you got your OK button in the middle. You got up, down, left, right. Directional basically. And you got your focus wheel right there on the side. It's got enough venting. It's got a battery built into it. Runs at least two hours, no problem. 720p. Great. Runs nice. I got a video running right now. You can run movies off your SD card. I'm not going to start up a movie right now off my SD card. But I can show that, that you are good to go. Fight Club. How to Train a Dragon. Magnificent 7 Sausage Party. The one thing I noticed is MKV files don't really work. The audio doesn't work. So you got to change it into an MP5. Usually runs compatibility pretty good for me. And then you can run music. Um, it's probably just your MP3s and that. You got your settings in here. You got your picture mode. Change it up. Movie. User. You can customize it. I usually just keep it standard for my back button. Um, other settings, color mode. I change the color, warm, user, cool. Just keep it on medium. Um, power mode. So this is your brightness. You can go on eco or standard. Now remember, I got lights galore in this room right now so we got lights everywhere this place is lit up as you can see it's running nice this projective is nader native sorry this projector is native 720p very crystal clear for me gotta say i like that now got a couple of other settings in there aspect ratio you got your projection front back all that good stuff um now wanted to go to source should be a video running should be a YouTube video running off the Chromecast there we go HDMI input 1080p 60 Hertz runs nice I'm gonna turn off one of these lights so you got your volume It's pretty loud, but I do recommend having a speaker that you can plug into it, an external speaker, boost the audio a little bit. It runs really nice. The quality is great. Can't complain whatsoever. I don't think the recording's doing it justice, but it is really good could play games on it there is a lot of light down here I may do a recording with less light but as you can see the AAXA P5 projector runs really nice full 720p native resolution and also adjust the, the angle 
I'm gonna do my next video probably in the dark. Give you guys a better perspective on things. Actually, you know what? If you give me a second, I'll be right back. So here we are. Got all the lights off. It's pretty dark in here. I adjusted the focus a bit. It's a little clearer now. In person, it's like watching the TV. Really nice. Can't go wrong. So as I said, this is the AAXA Technologies P5 projector, full 720p native resolution. It is compatible with 1080p videos and movies, and you can even plug your laptop. I had my um, MSI, my MSI laptop, my gaming laptop, plugged into this thing. I was running it. It was running pretty nice. No complaints really. Seemed like the frame rates were up there. So I recommend this projector. This is Leonidas. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take care, all the best.